Guys, before we go any further in our service, I wanna mention how you can win one of our Easter baskets if you're watching from home. If you're viewing one of our online services, go ahead, snap a picture of yourself and post it on Instagram or Facebook. Tag us at ckids.cc and you will enter for the chance to win one of our Easter baskets. Good luck and I'll see you guys later. What's up, Sea Kids? I'm Miss Sam. And I'm Mr. Jack. And today we are celebrating Easter, which is the best, best day, day ever. ever. We have an awesome service planned for you guys today. We got worship. We got a funny challenge video. We have an awesome service. It's going to be a blast. You're not going to want to miss out. But first, let's kick it off with the best challenge ever. Check, Check it, it out. out. All right, guys, so here we are with the best challenge ever. What? Mr. Jack cannot hear a thing right now. What? He was all wrapped up. He has 30 seconds to guess what I'm saying. And if he gets it right, he gets a special prize. Are you ready, guys? What? Let's get ready. Three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm my, my place is... Hi, Fly fires? Fly... Pie. Pie? Pie. pie. Apple pie. No. Cherry pie. <laughs> Pomegranate pie. 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 Pizza pie. In the place. Pie in the place? Pie in the face. Pie. Apple pie. Pie in the face. Pie in the face? Pie in the face! Pie, pie in, in the, the face! face! Pie in the face! <laughs> pie in the face! <laughs> All right, guys, that really was the best challenge ever. How about you, Mr. Jack? What do you think? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get ready to do some praise and worship. So stand up, get ready to dance and sing. Here we go. I was lost with a broken heart. You picked me up, now I'm set apart. From the ash, I am born again. Forever safe in the Savior's hands. It will more could say I follow you Lord, for all my days fix my eyes follow in your ways forever free and unending grace
Wow, that was an awesome song. Sam, I've been thinking, we've been talking about how today is the best day ever, but we haven't explained why yet. Yeah, the best day ever is today on Easter because we celebrate how Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross for our sins. And then he rose from the dead today on Easter. Just like in our song, we talk about how he is alive and he is alive today because of what he did for us. I think we actually have a video to show the story of Jesus. Let's watch that together. This is the best story ever. When God created the world, he made people and he loved them very much. Out of all the people God made, he chose the Israelites to be his special people. They moved away from the land God gave them to Egypt, where an evil ruler named Pharaoh made them slaves. They were treated terribly for hundreds of years until God sent a man named Moses to rescue them. God used nine bad things called plagues to show Pharaoh that he should seriously let God's people go free. But Pharaoh kept saying no. That was until the tenth and final plague. God sent an angel of death to take the life of every firstborn son in Egypt. God told the Israelite families to prepare a special meal by killing their best lamb. And then he said to paint its blood above the doors of their homes. The families who did would be saved because the angel who was coming would pass over their homes. After that night, Pharaoh realized that God was in charge and let God's people go free. To the Israelites, it was the best day ever. God had saved his people and he wanted them to always remember it. So every year after that, God's people remembered the wonderful way he had saved them by celebrating a meal together, and they called it Passover. But God's people weren't perfect. They sinned again and again. And since God is perfect and just, he had to punish their sins. But God didn't want the people he loved to have to die for their sins. So he told them to kill a perfect lamb and that its blood would cover their sins for a little while. But God made them the best promise ever. One day, he would send the Lamb of God to save all people from their sins forever so that they wouldn't have to keep doing this. Many years later, God kept his promise and sent his son, Jesus, to earth. A man named John knew God's promise was coming true. And when he saw Jesus, he said, look, the Lamb of God, he takes away the sins of the world. John knew that God sent Jesus to be the perfect sacrifice that would forever pay for people's sins. Jesus was an Israelite, which meant he also celebrated the Passover. So one year, he and his friends were making their way to Jerusalem, where everyone was getting ready to eat the Passover meal. The people heard that Jesus was coming, and as he entered the city, a huge crowd spread their coats on the road and waved palm branches. They believed that Jesus had come to save them, so they shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. At the same time, some Jewish leaders saw how much the people loved Jesus. These leaders didn't believe that he was God's son and felt threatened by his power and popularity. They made a deal with one of Jesus's followers named Judas, and he agreed to hand Jesus over to them in exchange for some money. It was now time for the Passover meal to remember how God had saved his people from slavery in Egypt long ago. So Jesus sat down to eat with his disciples. He thanked God for the bread on the table, broke it, and gave it to his disciples to eat. Jesus told them that whenever they eat the Passover bread from now on, they should remember him. Then Jesus thanked God for a cup of wine and said, each one of you drink some of it. This wine is my blood, which will be poured out to forgive the sins of many. When the meal was finished, they went out to the Mount of Olives to pray. That's when Judas showed up with a crowd of people ready to arrest Jesus. When they took Jesus away, he was beat up, yelled at, made fun of, and eventually nailed to a cross 
where he died this seemed like the worst day ever but what people didn't understand was that God had the best plan ever he was working these things out for good God allowed all of this to happen because Jesus was the perfect sacrifice the Lamb of God who was saving people from their sins forever after Jesus died they put his body in a tomb and sealed it shut with a giant stone but three days later God sent an angel to roll the stone away when he did everyone could see that Jesus wasn't in there some ladies came to the tomb and the angel said to them don't be afraid he has risen from the dead it was the best day ever the women were filled with joy and hurried to find Jesus's friends as they were telling the disciples all they had seen and heard Jesus appeared and showed them all that he really was alive before he went back to heaven Jesus told his disciples to go everywhere in the world and tell the good news to everyone Jesus said whoever believes will be saved just as God had saved his people long ago from slavery in Egypt God had now saved everyone from their sins by sending his son Jesus to be the perfect sacrifice for all time because of what Jesus did anyone who believes in him and follows him can be forgiven of their sins Jesus is the best ever that was an amazing story miss Sam do you know why Jesus was dead for three days that's an awesome question here let me explain why was Jesus dead for three days before he came back to life well there are actually three reasons number one if he had died and then come right back to life people could have argued that he never really died in the first place number two many people who helped write the bible and even jesus himself said that he was going to be dead for three days and if jesus says he's going to do something he always does it and number three jesus died on a friday which was the same day the passover lamb was sacrificed and since jesus is the lamb of god that makes total sense and because he was dead for only three days that means he came back to life on the first day of the week that makes sense too because the first day of the week is a new beginning and jesus gave us a new beginning when he saved us from our sins and defeated death forever and that's why jesus was dead for three days before he came back to life thank you miss sam for that awesome explanation so we've celebrated the best day ever we've had the best challenge ever that's right the best story ever come on but let's remember that jesus is the best ever here's some announcements that's right guys next week is glow sunday it's going to be such a good time you're going to want to wear all neon bring some glow sticks invite your friends the best dressed is actually going to win a super awesome secret prize i'll see you guys then tune in next week